Hey, hey, everybody, Alter Ego here, and I am up so late that it is actually early now. I frequently find this happens a lot, and actually have a lot of what I would love to think are pretty amazing thoughts at this time of night. Chances are most of them aren't, but I never end up putting them down, sharing them all too frequently. And a lot of times they end up getting lost, because as I'm lying there trying to fall asleep, my mind's racing through tons of crazy ideas and thinking about things in complex ways. And by the time I'm on my next day, like, I'm usually engaged in the world that I live in to be thinking about some of these much more, like, higher-level thought patterns. But something that I was just thinking about that I really kind of do want to share, so hey, 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 would be the word organic. And I guess sort of how we don't really use it very definedly in general, that sort of concept. And I guess in the end, it's... Sometimes it's meant to use anything that's, like, you know, natural, and then people are like, well, that's everything, technically. And then a lot of times it's stuff that's like, okay, it's more naturally grown, you know. Sometimes it means that it contains carbon, I guess? You know, we use it in so many different ways. I think one of the, maybe the better ways to look at it would be if you try to categorize it, where something being organic in the way that we tend to use it um, would be something that is a cell structure a sort of living type thing if you will i think it's generally how we use that and sometimes we use it to define things that have come from living organisms and so that's where we start blurring the lines and it's like well if technically this is then wouldn't this be i mean it's ridiculous would you call graphite an organic material? I, I don't know. I definitely wouldn't. When I think of organic, I definitely think of a much more uh, life-based terminology. I don't know. Those are just some of my thoughts. And obviously, it didn't really end up anywhere because communication is crazy. And everybody's going to use the words that they know as they know them. And hopefully as fittingly as they can, though not everybody is as apt in their word usage, much less their word contexts and subtexts. So I guess that's kind of what's crazy about communication is as much as we have all the rules and the structures, it's kind of dependent on people understanding their proper use. So once people start not following all of the rules, to some degrees, those rules then almost have to change because our rules of communication are simply there to help us more effectively communicate with each other. That's why language exists and that's why grammar rules and spelling and all of that exists is to help us all get on the same page. And if all of us are done reading that book, maybe we have to have different books. I don't know. Anyways, this is just some little random little thoughts, but I'm going to take it at this, so trot it on every pony. Have a good day.